Hello. In this video, we will be discussing Azure NAT Gateway. So let's say you have a virtual network and you have a subnet or a couple of subnets or how, how many subnets. And you have virtual machines in each subnet. When you go out to the internet, each virtual machine is assigned a different public IP address by Azure. So this machine goes out, it gets a public IP address. This goes out, gets a different public IP address. And that's okay, unless you need a fixed one public IP address to appear for all machines in this subnet and in this subnet or in one subnet. Maybe you need to whitelist this IP address for financial websites or health organizations. In this case, we use the Azure NAT gateway. The NAT gateway basically would be assigned to a subnet or a group of subnets. And every time a VM goes out, this public IP address would appear as the external public IP address. Now, if you need any help creating a virtual network in subnets, please watch my other video that shows you how and explains in detail the subnets and virtual networks. But for this video, we will be discussing the NAT gateway and we will provision one. So let's uh, look at Azure and see how we can do that. So here, I'm logged into a virtual machine in Azure. And if I go right now and say, um, search for what's my IP. Let's log this IP address. This is the IP address that Azure is actually giving me. Let's log it in a notepad here. Now, someone can say, why wouldn't I just assign the VM a public IP address? Well, that's a possibility, but if you have several VMs, that's going to cost you because you're adding an IP on each VM. Also, it's definitely not a safe thing and a, it's not, not a, a good practice because your VM will be exposed. And trust me, someone would be able to get into it. So this is the IP address. And now we're going to go ahead and provision the Azure NAT gateway. And let's see how. Here we are in Azure. This is the VM I was logged into. And as you can see, it doesn't have any public IP addresses. It has a, uh, it has a, a, a private IP address and it sits in a subnet called APIM subnet. So I'm going to go ahead and provision the NAT gateway right now. So if we go to home, create resource. Simply search for NAT, NAT Gateway and say create. This is your subscription. Uh, I'm just gonna pick, or I can create a new. You, if you have, if you have a resource group, you can uh, choose this from a drop down. I'm just gonna create one and say and call it NAT Gateway dash rg the name you can name it according to your business name and convention i'm going to name it lab nat gateway you can choose your region my region is east us we're not going to discuss availability zones here but i definitely do not need availability zones. This is for high availability. You can leave this at four. This is the, like the default and it works great. Now here, if you have, if you have a public IP address, you can assign it to it or you can create new one. I do not have one. So I'm just going to go and say, create new one. And, and I'm going to call it or name it. Whatever uh, I, you, you, uh, you name your business convention. Bit naming convention is so I'm gonna call it NAT pub IP. Now uh, this here we're not gonna go uh, and discuss the public IP IP prefixes, 
But if you need several IPs, several external IPs, you can actually, as you can see, it gives you a slash 28, which gives you 16 addresses, eight addresses, four addresses, and that's if you need more than one external IP address. But for this lab, we're just going with one. Now we wanna select the subnet. Uh, I have a virtual network already, and it does have three subnets. Now you can choose all three subnets. If you wanna give all three subnets the same IP, or you can choose one subnet or two subnets. I'm gonna choose this subnet, which has the virtual machine that I'm logged into, which is this one. Say review and create. And create. I'm gonna pause this video. It's gonna take a few minutes until it's, it's ready. All right, so the resource is ready. If we go to the resource right now, as you can see, this is what's in it. So if I go and log back in to the uh, to my VM, now here's the uh, IP address. Here's the IP address that we logged earlier. So if I go now and I say, what's my IP? As you can see, it's given me this IP address. Now, if I go back to Azure, portal and check what the new IP address we just provisioned. So let me log this new IP address here. If we look at this IP address, as you can see, that's the IP address. So from now on, any VM in that subnet would go, which, once it goes out, basically it's gonna be having this IP address. And now you can whitelist this IP address, which is a static IP address. And that's how you create a NAT gateway and you have a public IP address securely in Azure. Thank you for watching. Please support this channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing.